This is my mother's brain right here. Oh. Whoa, it's literally her brain. Is that why you wanted to protect the Magi? Has no Whoa, I thought that was like a motherboard or something. It is a motherboard. <laughs> it really is. Hello and welcome back to another Neon Genesis Evangelion reaction. Today, we will be reacting to episodes 13 and 14. Um, the last episodes we react to, reacted to uh, were, were a lot of fun. We're really good. We had the blackout episode and... Uh, I really Mis like that episode. Misato got a promotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that episode was good for the teamwork. Misato got a promotion. They threw a little shindig. And um, uh, Shinji found his reason for <laughs> piloting an Ava, which is doing it for daddy. Um, I'm really excited. I mean, I'm intrigued based on just the, the title for this episode, this next episode, Angel Infiltration. Um, I feel like it's about to go down. I think we're halfway through at this point like this episode is the halfway mark for uh the series so i feel like maybe this will be a good uh time for the tone to start to shift mm. things might start getting a little more the stakes might might get a little higher mm. we also got to see that misato backstory like a small little yeah. snippet of it so things are really picking up the universe the crew is expanding the lore is expanding and I'm here for all of it. So yeah, we pretty much have all of the main cast. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, once everyone's introduced, it starts to to pick up. Not pick. I mean, it's already picked up, but you know. Okay. Okay. I just yeah, it's hard for me to remember exactly what happens or give anything in, away. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, <laughs> I don't remember. Like once I start watching it, I'm like, oh, I remember this. But even I mean, based off of the episode titles, I'm like, I don't. I right, don't know. right. Until I get there, I'm like, oh, okay. Right. So I, I am like every time we started, I'm like excited to see what episode it's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, well, let's just jump into it um, with episode thirteen, Angel Infiltration. Very fast, Maya. That's amazing. Well, this is a gift I only possess thanks to you, Doctor. Stop a sec. An A8 would be a lot faster there. Here, let me show you. Doctor, that's amazing. Dang. Hey there, are you done with diagnostics on the Magi? I kept my promise of having it ready before today's test. Amazing as always, Ritsuko. I don't know how you do it, keeping track of all three of them. Good work, everyone. Take a break until the testing starts. No abnormalities. My mother's doing fine. Well, I'm growing older with each passing day. Okay. <laughs> we have to undress again? Why do we have to go through all this trouble just to test some autopilot systems? Time doesn't wait for anyone. The Ava's technology is always improving. We constantly need new data to work from. There! We're exactly how you want us. Squeaky <laughs> clean after 17 showers. We need you to go through this room and get into the entry plugs dressed just as you are now. What? Why is there a camera in there? The visual feed is offline. It's a direct order, Asuka. Uh, oh, damn. Don't you dare look at me. Got it? Starting the test. Initiate autopilot recording. Simulation entry plugs are now controlled by the Magi. The Magi sure makes a big difference. This is a far cry from the first test, which took an entire week. How are you feeling? Something is different. Yeah, it <clears throat> does feel different somehow. I mean, you're naked. That seems weird. Right. Mentally picture moving your right arm. Roger. I said mentally. <laughs> Everything looks good. Revert the Magi's <clears throat> operating mode. Inner conflict. So they're trying to find a more they organic way to link the them? Of the person who built oh, they're testing What that? are you talking about? You built this, didn't you? The core theory and mainframes were built by my mother. Oh, okay. Are others aware of this? Yes, sir. This is the part that deteriorated. When I magnify the image, it reveals something that looks like stains. It's probably corrosion. Temperature and conductivity are fluctuating somewhat in that area. That wing was built after the angels reappeared. Have this addressed by tomorrow, or Ikari will raise a stink. Roger. <sighs> Ikari. Corrosion. Another water leak? They say there's corrosion in the protein walls above us. Will it impede the tests? Not at this time, no, it won't. Then we'll continue. <gasps> Whoa. What is it? Contamination alarm on floor A of the Sigma unit. The corrosion is spreading like wildfire along the protein walls. It's moving really fast. Abort the test. It's not working. The corrosion is spreading along the wall lining. Prepare the polysomes. Huh. Interesting. 
set lasers to maximum strength. Corrosion has reached number six is 258. Incoming! Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> it's like a corrosion angel. And they're in there naked! Save them! Oh god. Whoa, that's fast. Whoa, <laughs> fuck. It's an AT field. That can't be. Wow. That's crazy. An angel. An angel. Yep. Corrosion angel. A corrosion angel. An angel. Oh, sorry, fuck. Sorry. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to raise a stink. <laughs> we have orders to abandon the box. Everyone evacuate. What are you doing? Hurry. Shut off the alarm. Faulty detectors caused the alarm. Report as such to the council and the government. The contaminated area is lying. Downward. It's of course he is. To the entire Sigma unit. That's dangerous. Yes, too close to Adam. How are the Evas? They can be launched immediately following pilot retrieval. Do not wait for the pilots. Launch them to the surface immediately. Huh? Unit what? one is priority one. But it's impossible for us to physically defeat the angels without an Ava. If the Avas get contaminated, everything we've done will go up in smoke. Completely locked down in 60 seconds. So that's the angel. Guess my work will have to wait. Hmm, what are you doing in that box? Oh, Kaji. That's the border of the heavy water. It seems picky about where it wants to go. So then oxygen is its weakness. I believe it is. Venting in ozone. Increasing the concentration. Looks like it's working. Will it succeed? Zero A and zero B appear to be recovering. That's so strange. Wait, what? It's spreading again. This is weird. The heat has started increasing. Decontamination has stopped. It's not working anymore. Astonishing. It's evolving right before our eyes. What's going on? Something I mean, it kind of it's hatched. kind of done that True before. Or an angel has done that not before. Right. Lowering firewall and kind of. decoy interface right now. It was like with the magma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No human could possibly do this. Tracing's complete. It's inside this facility. Its optical pattern is changing. That thing is actually a computer. Staging decoy Ooh. interface. What? Failure. Attempt has been interfered. Sever the main cable right now. It's trying to access the memory banks of the security department. It's running passwords. 12 digits. 16 oh, fuck. digits. It has the decode string. No way. It's hacked into the main banks of the security department. That's crazy. It's accessing everything. It's trying to crack into the Magi. Oh, fuck. Shut down the I.O. system. We can't cut the power. The angel's still breaching. It has now gained access to Melchior. So that those three are the Magi, but they're an AI that's Melchior. Melchior is now trying to hack into Balthazar. And Casper. Interesting. Change logic mode. Sync code rate to 15 second intervals. Roger. To think the Magi could betray us. It's not like actively betraying you. It's being hacked into. This angel is a group of nano machines. These machines gathered together to form a colony and rapidly evolved to the point where they formed AI circuitry in a very short time. Wow. The best way to defeat a target like this is to sacrifice oneself with it. Therefore, my proposal is that Whoa. we destroy the Magi system. Impossible. <gasps> Destroying the Magi is tantamount to abandoning HQ. Why are you being so stubborn? Because that's my All mother. This happened because <gasps> of a mistake that I made. You've always been like this, tackling everything by yourself. If the angel is constantly evolving, then we can defeat it. By pushing its evolution. So then the solution would be to accelerate the evolution of the angel? If the angel wants to <laughs> we avoid just said own, that. <laughs> may choose to coexist with the Magi instead. If its goal is the computer, then we'll connect the angel directly to Caspar. Then oh, Caspar, Caspar will reverse hack itself and install Caspar. a self-destruction encouragement program. It'll come down to who can be faster, Caspar or the angel. Yes. Can you be certain that you'll be ready in time? I keep my promises. You guys act like you guys all don't take crazy risks. Yeah, yeah, all the time. All the time. No, they don't take crazy risks. They put the <laughs> Avas right. in front of crazy risks. Yeah, yeah, they don't, but they, you know, force children to. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Those are her mom's notes. Scribbles from the developer. So cool. These are backdoor codes. I feel anxious just looking Screw at Screw you, Ikari. <laughs> I like this, this, uh, whoever wrote these. Thank you, mother. 
Now we'll succeed. All right, her mom just went up a couple ranks. This reminds me of our college days together. Keyboard 25, please. <laughs> it's like, stop trying to reminisce right now. Yeah, this is not the hey, time. So can you tell me a little bit more about the Magi? Ever heard of personality transplant type OS? Ooh, her mom's a consciousness is in there. An individual's personality is transplanted into an organic computer so it can have cognitive thought, right? It's the exact same technology we use for piloting the Avas. Ooh. It's technology that my mother developed. Was it your mother's personality that was transplanted? Yep. yep. That's her mom's brain. This is my mother's brain right here. Oh. Whoa, it's literally her brain! Is that why you wanted to protect the Magi? I don't think so. I'm afraid my mother and I were never exactly very close. It's here! Balthazar has Whoa, I thought that was like a motherboard or something. It is a motherboard. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it started in the case of you. Minus one four. Hack, hack. <laughs> hack into your mom's brain. Whoa, dude. Tell me you love me! <laughs> You have one second? It's one second more than zero. Maya. I'm ready. Four. Enter key. One. Zero. A message comes up. Clean your room. She's back. She's back. We did it! Barely. Maya's so cute. She is. She's very cute. Damn. Her mom's brain was huge. Huge, yeah. <laughs> huge brain. All personnel stand down to alert condition one. Bro, they've been on. naked this whole time. Butt ass naked. Ah, we can't go anywhere if we're completely naked like this. I think I'm getting too old. Can't handle these all nighters. Once again, you managed to keep your promise. The night before she died, my mother told me the Magi are comprised of the three people inside her herself as a scientist, herself oh. as a mother. Oh. And herself as a woman. Oh. Those three sides were constantly vying for control of her. And she programmed all three to be different from each other. Lit. But as a woman, there was a part of me that hated her. You're talkative today. It's been You're talking my language. <laughs> I fucking hate my dad. <laughs> Caspar was programmed with the part of my mother's personality that was a woman. And the woman inside of her held out to the bitter end. That's just like her. That's fucking lit. That, 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 like, made the whole episode. That was really cool. That was great. Yeah. It was a, definitely a, a slow episode, but, um, again, I really, really like that, that explanation towards the end. And getting to understand more about the Magi, that it is a actual person's consciousness. And, and it is also crazy, again, <laughs> the reveal that it was her actual brain, her actual yeah. body in and there. And it was cool. Like, I remember when I was watching to have, you know, like her mom built this thing. She's working for the same guy. And she hates him. Yeah. She hates his guts. Yeah. Her mom does. Yeah. Yeah. So. Which I love. It's just like the passed down generation to generation working. And that, that is really cool, you know, because you have Shinji, but it even goes, you know, farther back. What's her name again? I always Reedsko. forget. Reedsko. I always forget her name. But uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. And the Misato. We saw that her father was also a scientist similar to Commander Ikari. So yeah, they're all, it's all generational. They're all having to, to deal with these, these things. And because of the state of the world, you know, I mean, some could possibly argue that their parents, I mean, it, you know, it's a case, case by case basis, but their parents are maybe forced to neglect their children for the greater good. Mm -hmm. But um, then, like, why have them? Right, exactly. I mean, and why bring, like you said, like, I think you said it in a previous episode, like, why choose to bring children into this world? You know, um, that that's something that seems kind of crazy. I mean, it, it's kind of worked out for them so far because Misato uh, kills it, Ritsuko kills it, Shinji's been killing <laughs> it. So, I mean, they, they got real lucky. Uh, but yeah, why why make that choice to to bring to bring children into this into this crazy world? Um, I really like it, though. I really like getting to to learn more about her. She's a character mm -hmm. that we still haven't um, seen a lot of. I love that now in this part of the season, we're getting to learn, you know, more about them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, sh she was, uh, you know, she was sh she was great this episode. She was she really mm -hmm. got her, her moment to shine. And uh, yeah, I, I loved that. The, the parts 
that represent her, the Magi, which is something that, again, <clears throat> seems very real to me that we would have like this AI make all of our decisions mm -hmm. for us. But that it is one person and all of their personalities, all sides of them, mother, scientists and woman and the part of her that was a woman held. Out. I mean, that's just I mean, that's incredible science fiction writing right there. Um, I, 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 I was really, really, really uh, impressed with that episode, even though it was really slow. Um, but also the angel, too. Like, yeah, the angel being not just this giant like nanobite monster but these like yeah, yeah these like these like nanites that are infecting sort of the HQ and hacking into mainframes and and evolving well to like i mean yeah i mean the, like why was it doing that why were they getting information and know? that's and that, that's what we were kind of talking about in the last episode right like how intelligent the angels actually are and you know i had mentioned that they do kind of behave like beasts but We've started to see that they have they, a purpose. They have a purpose. They yeah. have a goal. Mm -hmm. And if they're able to evolve and adapt to recreate technology that is the most advanced technology that humanity has created, then they're very, very intelligent creatures mm -hmm. um, capable of really so much, like so much, almost as if to say like humanity, I don't want, I don't know how humanity has lasted this long and stands any chance. If they're capable of these things. Well, just like they're evolving, the, um, you know, the humans are evolving. So I think it's always been kind of that touch and go. But it feels like now more than ever, um, it is so much more like directed and violent. Yes. Towards the HQ, towards like what they're doing at NERV. Uh, before it was like an impact. And that right. more feels like an impact on like humanity but now they are just like laser focusing on like what's going on here which is like interesting to think about like why well i mean it would make sense right like the first and second impact maybe were to take out mm -hmm. i mean we saw misato's father and that he was a researcher similar mm -hmm. to commander ikari he was taken out by the second impact the uh, the second impact was almost uh, like God's judgment, potentially. And I'm just using that term because of their name given to them, angels, right? Yeah. Like judgment on humanity for trying to, I guess, like toy with things that they don't understand, fully understand, right? Like punishing them for that. And, and sending a message to the rest of the, the world to, to, to leave this stuff alone, yeah. right? To, don't mess with this. Now, HQ, Nerve HQ, is probably on the cusp of, of, of something greater or equal to what the other group of researchers in the past was mm -hmm. on to. And so the angels are now trying their hardest to stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. Maybe without having to, without having to, to cause a global catastrophe again. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe this is how they operate, right? They like, they like try to take out the people that are doing it because they're making advancements with the Ava technology. We even see them in this episode, test it and push it farther. Yeah. And they try to take out the individuals behind it, but if the individuals are able to continually outsmart them, yeah. then they finally go like, okay, it's fucking Noah's Ark flood time shit. <laughs> like we're, you know, we're just going to wipe out everybody. Yeah. And that's maybe what I, what I'm thinking. That's what happened. Uh, maybe the first second time they well maybe the first time was a message second time was a was a uh they they had more directed attacks and then it didn't work and they were like okay we're just gonna take out this whole place then this whole fucking area then um but uh it's interesting to see and i know you can't really ask or answer a lot of 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 uh of these questions or or my 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 theories, you can't really react to them one way or the other without giving things away. That's just kind of what, what, where I'm at right now. They're super intelligent. And yeah, maybe they're just trying to send a message to humanity that they these are powers. These are things that they should not be messing with. This whole Adam thing, especially, too, is probably why they're because it, the angels went after they didn't start going after Nerve HQ. Actually, I take all of that back. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, they didn't start going after Nerve HQ until Adam was brought back to Nerve HQ. When Adam was on the boat, it went after the boat or the ship. And now that, that they brought it back, 
It's going after Nerve HQ. And, you know, we saw Ikari, you know, <laughs> saying uh, <clears throat> it's too close to Adam, you know, so. Mm, interesting, curiouser mm-hmm. and curiouser, and he's trying to use reverse engineer Adam, and he's trying to maybe I don't know, do maybe he's maybe the end of the series will will result in him creating an angel, like Ava hybrid of some sort, um, or maybe he's trying to make Adam. What if he gets Adam to pilot an Ava? Interesting, curiouser and curiouser. Um, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Thank you again, um, but amazing episode. I am not one to be bothered by a slower pace. Um, I think that uh, it served this episode really, really well. And I really like to, 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 to get to know, or I really liked getting to know a little bit more of Ritsuko. Let's get into episode four now. Um, how, how would you say this word, Megan? Seely? Seely? Uh, seal? I don't know. Seal? Seely? Comma, the seat of the soul. Let's jump into it. What's the seat of the soul? The seat of the soul is the heart. I imagine in my heart, there's like a little like Star Trek kind of, uh, you know, uh, crew. And they're all just sitting, you know, and I got my Kirk in the captain's chair and he's in there and he's kind of like commanding my soul. You know, I'm kind of like an Ava. I get it now. Okay. (laughs) Okay. All right. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Oh, now the flashback. Third angel. 2015. The third angel. Ever. And this angel looks similar to an angel we saw in the beginning of the series. But we saw something very similar to this. Yeah. Shinji Ikari. So that was agrees to be the pilot. Wait, what? Yeah, we saw this, right? Yeah. Damn, that was crazy. Fuck. Total silence. Oh. oh, berserker mode, right? Yeah, I went berserk. While we suffered heavy damage and some casualties, a young boy with zero experience in the battlefield engaged against an unknown enemy for the first time. This bitter battle highlighted numerous issues and presented hard lessons that had to be learned. Fuck! See, always with crosses my little sister is only in second grade at her school she was injured in the recent attack not by the enemy but the guy rampaging all over while fighting the enemy i'm like the grown-ups who built that robot to feel the suffering it's a little recap of instead of what is it i, have I don't know <laughs> it might be my friends and i went through evacuation drills so often at school that it didn't seem all that unusual at the time the boys in the class were acting rowdy like they were on a field trip, so we never really felt afraid. Hmm. Ooh. Damn. That one was lit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe it's just trying to show you all of the damage that that they've taken or been that's been done. Or... Hmm. That one was like, <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. Also, it sounds like some sort of like choir, like him, ah, like a hymn, you know, like ominous, dude. I don't know. This is not a drill. Oh, <laughs> shit. I think Unit Zero put itself at considerable risk to protect Unit One from the particle cannon. I get the impression that Ayanami feels her existence is somehow transitory. I don't think she's pessimistic. It's something else. A feeling that's got a hold of her. Oh. This, I don't know if it's a recap. It might be because. It's not. They're giving you new information. This incident okay. deviates from the. That was a cool fight. Oh, 
The that Angel battle with Unit Island. 2 and the Angel cost the United Nations Navy one-third of all its ships. I know those were your country's ships, but it was acceptable collateral damage. Seven, 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 seven angels, but there's been more attacks. Oh yeah, that was awesome. That was sick. And they have these like cores. Yeah, see? Rapid growth, accelerated growth, evolution. That's where we heard the cries from the baby. Mm -hmm. No, there's been more, but still, that's so many. And there was the one in space after this. <laughs> that one was crazy. Mm -hmm. So they have to always get through that AT field. Mm -hmm. It's much too soon. Indeed. Mm. There were no contingency plans for an angel intrusion into NARF HQ. If contact had been made, then all of our plans would have been completely compromised. It's the penguin. I believe the mm -hmm. council was informed that it was a false alarm. There was no angel security breach. Mm. Don't make us laugh. We know you're exceptionally capable of falsifying the facts. Exactly, that's what I said. The is proceeding just as the Dead Sea Scrolls described. Fine. Our deliberation Dead over sea your Scrolls. negligence in this matter is over. Everything will proceed according to SEAL's scenario. SEAL. Weaving a story. Dead Sea Scrolls. Hmm. Mountains. <gasps> Heavy mountains. Something that changes over time. The sky. The blue sky. Something we can't see. Where he's on a self-discovery journey. <laughs> the sun. There is only one. Water. Something that feels nice. Commander Kari. Flowers. The sky. Red. A red sky. Red color. I don't like the color red. Flowing water. Ooh. Blood. The smell of blood. A woman who does not bleed. The work of man. Ava. The work of man. What is man? Was it God that created him? Or did man create man? Inside me I have life. The vessel of the heart. Entry plug. Seed of the soul. Well, I said that. This? this is me. Who am I? What am I? What am I? Fuck, this is Jojo. <laughs> this object is myself. The shape that forms myself. But I feel like I am not who I am. I am losing my shape. I feel the presence of someone else. Is there someone there? Beyond here? Shinji? Major Katsuraki. Dr. Akagi. Pilot of Unit 2. Commander Akari? No name. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? So, Ray, how was your first time being in Unit 1? It smells like Shinji. <laughs> what? Interchangeability trials. Oh. Our synchronization rates are no different from Unit Zero. That's why it's possible for them to synchronize. Ray, you can come up now. Yes. 
I want to see Asuka. Of course there aren't. <laughs> <laughs> How is the subject? Subject seems slightly tense, but no issues with his nerve signal patterns. He shouldn't get so worked up all the time and just take it easy. <clears throat> That's just not who Shinji is. Yeah, I know. That's why he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so, do I have to participate in the test they just did? You don't want to pilot an Ava other than Unit 2, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. The truth is, Unit 2 simply isn't compatible with the other <laughs> Avas. I knew it. Entry sequence has started. Shinji, how is it inside Unit 0's entry plug? It feels a little strange. Are you feeling it's any personal matter? <laughs> no, it's just, it smells like Ayanami. Unit 0 initiating level 2 contact. The harmonics are all nominal. It looks like our plan of action might be ready to go. Do you mean the dummy system? With all due respect, ma'am, I find that plan very... Objectionable? I can understand that. Mental assessment is stable. Oh, Shinji Winji, you wanna call him <laughs> back inside the womb! Asuka, you're messing up his concentration. Shinji yeah, Winji. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so what out of pocket. Something's coming. Directly into my head. This feeling. It feels like Ray Ayanami. Whoa! He's gonna go berserk her. Psychological contamination. We lost control of Unit Damn. Zero. Did Unit Zero refuse Shinji? No response. The auto eject mechanism is not functioning. Oh fuck! Ray, get back! You ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh three. Oh my god. Violent. Was Ray the target? Did Unit Zero want to kill her? <sighs> Fuck! Do you think I'm so this confused. incident has something to do with the rampage Unit Zero did before with Ray on board? In order to determine that, we'd have to revert Unit Zero's personal data to Ray and do another synchronization test with her. Unit Zero was trying to attack me. Attack you? Why? Because you're switching them out? Uh, because your mom is the Magi? Uh, why? Not here. I hate the ceiling. <laughs> Received word that Shinji has just regained consciousness. Neither Misato nor Mr. Kashi will tell me anything. And Shinji's completely ignorant. First children. Who is she? Everything is proceeding according to our scenario. There are no problems. What about the incident with Unit Zero? That wasn't in any scenario I've read. The resynchronization of Ray to Unit Zero was successful. Ikari is far too fixated on Ray. What about Project Adam? Proceeding smoothly. Everything is on schedule. What of the Spear of Longinus? It's on track. Ray is carrying out the work. <sighs> okay. What the fuck, man? Fuck! I'm so confused. I don't like it. I don't like being this confused. What is happening? <laughs> okay, we recapped all the angel attacks, right? And how they were fought, how they were defeated. <laughs> and then we get into this like cross, you know, uh, synchronization <clears throat> yeah. exercise. And Ray is experiencing, she's sitting in, in unit one, but she's experiencing, I, I, I thought initially maybe her view of, of the world, but maybe she's feeling sort of some of Shinji's feelings about the world and his surroundings because the same things seem to happen to him. They're not letting Asuka do it because she's not compatible, but they are. They're the closest. Yeah. That's why they're able to synchronize. <clears throat> interesting like and they keep saying like who is she so it, it, what if it ends up being like i mean it wouldn't be oh yeah yeah it wouldn't end up being like shinji's sister um i mean maybe because what i'm starting to think is like ikari right commander ikari there's no way he wouldn't go like vin smoke judge on everybody or on his on his child and maybe children and uh 
experiment on them, alter them in some way to be able to like do things that other humans wouldn't normally be able to do. Then we're introducing the Dead Sea Scrolls, which are again, I, I, I you know, I'm not a biblical scholar. You know, all I was, all, all, all my knowledge was uh, from being dragged to to church uh, in my in my young younger years. Um, but I, I think that was like a that was like lost books of the Bible, lost text. You know, that was said to have been found, uh, I think. But like going to plan some sort of like prophecy plan, it's all playing out the way that it did in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I'm so fucking lost, dude. I'm lost. Like, what can you what can you say about this? I mean, I can't say anything. I mean, you're not confused. You pretty much just said what happened. Again, it's like it builds, it builds, it builds. Okay, so right now... There's no point of trying to figure it out right now. Okay, all right. I, all I know is that Ray is... Ray is... I mean, we know Ray is someone important to Ikari. Yes. That's it. That's all we know. Yes. So I'm thinking she's either some sort of experiment. She's either three things. An experiment, another child of, of, of his, um, or she could be from some sort of special race of people i don't know because you know in, in in anime it's it's very common for a character to have blue hair but in the world of like neon most characters have like it, it is very realistic there's blonde brunette you know th- th- there's not really a lot Except of like for a misato purple yeah but it's more of like a it's more of like that kind of black that kind of black that has these like other kind I of i mean tones. it's purple but I don't know. I, you know, I mean, but yeah. I understand. I was thinking the same thing watching these two episodes. It's right. Like you have all of these people with regular colored yeah. hair, and then you have a girl with blue hair and red right. eyes. Even Asuka, who's uh, kind of got reddish hair. Um, yeah. So she is very. That's what I mean. She is. Maybe she is. I don't know. She is some sort of special race. So that has something to do with the angels. Maybe has something to do bef- with before the impact. Maybe she was in- affected by the impact. Mm. C- curiouser and curiouser. Honestly, I, I, I really, I mean, I, I really enjoyed these two episodes. But <laughs> you got mad at the end. I did because I just feel you like got really upset. You know, I, I again, I, I don't this- even mind the the way and the pace that this is sort of unfolding or being revealed. But I like not knowing. I like feeling like I have to put it together myself, but it is, it is frustrating, right? Because I want to, I want to, I want to be able to, to start to piece together everything that's happening. But I feel like I don't even know where to begin. And I'm hoping that when I look back at everything, it'll all make sense. So maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'm trying not to read I, into your expression too much. Yeah. The first time I watched it, I wanted to get more information. Mm -hmm. And even after watching the first season, there was so many things that I still didn't understand. So like watching the movies helped helped me a lot. And I think it helps a lot of people or, you know, maybe they're like, I got it on the first you know season or whatever, but the the movies do help. And um, I think that it'll be really fun to see your reaction to the, last episode of the season of this season of this season okay. that is one episode that i mean this whole series this whole first season is like so iconic but like the last episode or like either i think it's the last episode last two episodes but i'm pretty sure the last episode i was like gagunked i was like wow i was just kind of s- sitting there like what wow wow i was like what just happened what like yeah. and things are revealed, uh, of course, as you keep going on through the season, like things that I don't I didn't necessarily remember until rewatching it. I'm like, oh, my God, like I just can't wait to see your reaction to some of these things because they. Yeah, they're pretty nuts. They're pretty nuts. I can't speak on anything else. But again, like I feel like you are watching it Um because I knew that it was like really popular. I knew that a lot of people liked it when I watched it. But I don't think I was watching it under like such a 
right. like, uh, you know, close eye microscope as you are, because obviously we're reacting to this and you want to be able to say or have theories about it. I was just kind of watching it more leisurely and connecting the dots here and there. Um, so I think that you're on a good track. But again, like the show will just fill in those dots as you go. So um, it is kind of frustrating because, you know, when you're watching a show, and you're like, I just I just don't know. Yeah, I, I feel just, like it's less frustrating for me because I'm reconnecting the dots of like what happened, but I've already seen it. Well, so. what I don't what I don't necessarily like love, like if I'm in this situation in like real life watching something leisurely, then I, I won't stop. I'll just keep, keep going. Go. Yeah, we, we but, have to stop. But, but this feeling no, of like, like fuck, I ha- we have to stop here. Yeah, that's why you got so upset at the end. You're like, yeah. fuck, fuck. Because I, I was knew like, we had oh to, my God. I, I knew we had to stop here. Let's watch another one. Cue it up. Yeah. If we didn't have other things to do. Damn, dude. Um, But uh, yeah, I even thought that line of dialogue was interesting. The way Ray was talking about. um, She was talking about angels and mm-hmm. she was talking about humans and she was saying she was talking about humanity and did did god create humans or did humans create humans like are they works of man um and you know comparing her body or the human body to an ava um and you know interesting right like the 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 heart and that is sort of the title of this episode being the captain's chair mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. they are the heart of the the ava Right. They are the soul almost. of, And it was cool to see the differences between like, I don't know. It really did feel like when we're when those two synchronizations were happening with Ray versus like Shinji, Shinji being in Ray's um, Ava and then Ray being in Shinji's Ava. It almost was like she was like, like you said, like those feelings that were coming from Shinji. It felt like she was really like thinking about these things for the first time or or putting them all together in a way that made sense to her you know versus like shinji and rays it, it is just all feelings and memories there's no thoughts right he didn't say any words it was just like flashes of feelings of you know not a lot of good feelings in there right so that is interesting too um Interesting. Yeah. And, and and again, you know, it reminds me of all the other things that we've seen throughout the series because we got that series of, of flashbacks or that montage of battles. And we have seen that underneath when 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 Shinji's unit one went kind of berserk, you know, we do see that there does seem to be, and, and I think they've even said that the Avas themselves are alive, right? Like they are, you know, I don't know. So it, it is almost as if like they've they've taken an angel. Right. And they've taken the soul uh, from the angel, the heart, and they've put a human uh, in, in its place because the human and, and that might work because we've we've learned that they're, you know, human DNA and angel DNA. The sequences are, are very similar. And they, they, they've maybe put like machine parts or just like battle armor on top of it. And so it is sort of like that Ava's are sort of this hybrid of 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 angel and uh, human. And that's why that's why like angels create these AT fields. And I don't know if 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 Ava's were ever supposed to be able to create their own. if like that was part of their design. But like <clears throat> Shinji at one point is able to create his own AT field as well. Like they they say that in this flashback that they both created their own AT field. So. I don't know. Like, it does make me feel like that. And that's what Adam is. Like, Adam. Okay. Just, um, we're almost, we're almost out of here. We're almost done. But I, I do, I do feel like Adam, maybe, maybe this isn't the first, because they were trying to retrieve that one in the magma. Right. So they, they've tried to find maybe these before and maybe when they can like raise them on their own in their own lab and they do grow rapidly these are the avas right i don't know maybe i'm i mean i what do you want me to say i know i know i know i know know. (laughs) you're like right (laughs) okay i I, i'm sorry uh no this is they want to hear you that people that are seeing you watch this for the first time want to hear you say these things but i just can't speak on it right 
Wow. I mean, uh, this is this is an incredible series, man. And this is what I think an incredible series does. It allows for these types of conversations, this type of speculation. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm really, really still over halfway through now, blown away by the world, by its themes, by these characters, man. These characters are all so good and uh, continue to be great even as that cast expands. Um, and, to, and to feel this like intense sort of feeling, uh, this intensity behind wanting to figure out, still figure out the mysteries of this world, like half over halfway through, like this is a, a really incredible series. And, and, and this is no wonder uh, uh, why, you know, this series is, is incredibly, as incredibly popular as it is. Like, um, wow. Anyway, thank you also for, for watching and humoring that sort of, uh, I don't know, that, 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 that specul that, that, that speculatory, is that a word? Uh, that speculation rant. I don't know what to call it, but thank you, uh, for, for being here and thank you for, for hanging out with us throughout this whole journey. Um, we, are going to be back next week to react to a couple more episodes. Um, we're trying to, you know, do them as uh, as uh, often as we can. We try to do them at least once a week. Sometimes we might miss a week here or there. But uh, that's even more reason for you to subscribe so that you can always make sure that those videos pop up in your feed. Um, and subscribing these days uh, isn't all it takes to make sure that happens. Liking commenting engaging with the video that's also going to guarantee that they keep popping up in your feed because youtube uh, doesn't just because you're subscribed to a channel doesn't mean that you get recommended that channel put the bell on you put the bell on yeah the Why bell not? helps yeah yeah it's like turning notifications on <clears throat> but uh yeah yeah that's gonna do mm -hmm. it for for these two episodes i i really do feel like these two episodes were really different and our yeah. conversations as a result were really different so let us know uh, your thoughts uh, on, on these two episodes without giving anything away. I know that might be hard. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, if you want to see the full uncut, unedited, uncensored version of this reaction, then you can you can see that by becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon member. To become a Patreon member, all you got to do is go to patreon.com slash volume one pod. And to become a YouTube member, all you got to do is click the link in the description below to go to our main YouTube channel and click join somewhere next to the subscribe button or on our channel page there. You get access to to this uncut reaction, all of our un all of our reactions, uncut, uncensored, uh, exclusive content, early access to other things that we do. Um, so if you're interested, that uh, helps us out a lot, and we would uh, greatly appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, wow. Uh, the only thing left to do now is to get out of here on our outro that is always the same and never changes. Which today, Megan is. My brain is scrambled eggs right now. Mm. Scrambled eggs. Fuck. <clears throat> okay. So, you know, uh, I hate red. You know, Ray, Ray said that. Corrosion, corrosion, corrosion. Corrosion. Cor, cor, how do you say? Cor, cor, uh, cor, cor, a <laughs> <laughs> uh, course, like coercing coercing corrosion but what, what, like what would that mean why would you say that just because there was corrosion and it sounds like coercion coercing coerce coercing I mean, doesn't it mean like to change the mind of someone else coercing corrosion i mean it's just hard to say it's just really <laughs> hard to say um what else happened in this episode or this uh episode? magi oh the yeah. ultimate woman yeah 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 uh uh magi mommy magi mommy yeah, 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 yeah. The mad, the magi is a the magi Just is magi a mommy. mommy. Okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. You know, make sure to like, subscribe. Thank you for your support. We love you guys. We appreciate appreciate you guys. And until next time, magi, magi mommy. mommy. Yeah, magi, magi daddy. We got magi mommy. Yeah, we Back door. <laughs> Let me run and die. Nothing. Literally.